Bob's 24-hour forecast. Well, feeling the humidity today, temperatures and uh, in the mid to upper 80s, dew points in the mid 70s. Here we are, New Iberia to Acadiana Regional, dew point of 76 with a temperature of 83, giving us that feels like temperature of 91. And you don't like to see dew points in the mid 70s going into a severe weather day, uh, roughly at this time tomorrow. You can see temperatures mid 80s across the board. Opelousa is coming in at 88 degrees, starting to cool down there shortly. Crot Springs at 87, 83 also in last. Yet. Here's the big picture. Severe weather to our east, well to our north, and back to the north and west. This is the next weather system that's going to be a troublemaker tonight for Texas and then migrating toward Louisiana as we head into tomorrow. In fact, the Storm Prediction Center has a good chunk of Louisiana into Mississippi and Alabama under an enhanced risk. That's a level three out of five for severe storms. Storms that will be capable of producing damaging winds, hail, and more than likely tornadic activity from central Louisiana into Mississippi and more than likely Alabama going into tomorrow evening. You can see just along and north of the I-10 corridor is where the greatest risk of severe storms will be now. We had that risk of severe weather this weekend, but it did not materialize. Everything concentrated offshore this time around. I don't think we're going to be as lucky, especially for central and northern portions of Louisiana. A squall line developing tomorrow by midday. Worse than the severe weather staying mainly northern portions of Acadiana on eastward, but we'll see showers and storms pushing on through in into the late afternoon and early evening hours with some storms lingering into tomorrow night, especially down along the coast. So this is the way we're going to play rain chances tonight. Mid 70s, the low rain chances perking up after the noon hour. Highest chances tomorrow afternoon into early tomorrow evening with that slight to enhance severe thunderstorm risk. We'll talk more about that and see where the, the if any tornadoes will be more likely and what spots that might be coming up in just a little bit.